S is with A for Shauna, S for Sonia, and today, Shauna, we've got some really exciting news. Fallafalooza is happening. Yes, in full swing. In full swing. Yes. And Main Street has some really cool events coming up that we want to talk about. Yeah, look, why don't we go in and talk to Brittany Beaver, the director of Brownsville Main Street? I'm ready. See this? I'm ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Y'all, come on. Fallafalooza schedules jam-packed this year. Um, we have October 1st, we have our Halloween in Haywood event. And this is our first year hosting this event. And basically, we just want it to be a kickoff to the season party to enjoy Halloween, fall, and everybody get excited for the Halloween season. So we will have on the court square, we will have a live DJ that starts October 1st at 3 p.m. We will have vendors that are specific to Halloween. So we have a soap vendor that makes different uh, Halloween shaped soaps. We have a bath bomb vendor that makes bath bombs and little tiny cauldrons that you just drop the whole cauldron in your bath. Um, we've got Halloween wreath vendors and all kinds of um, people that sell things and make things specific just for Halloween. So we're very excited to host them this year. We'll also have food trucks on site. And at 4 p.m., the fun really gets started. So we will have hay rides starting at 4 p.m. in Oakwood Cemetery, and that'll go from 4 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $5 a person with children five and under free. And we're really excited about this partnership with Oakwood Cemetery and Haywood Heritage because we are donating a portion of those proceeds to go to the Cemetery Restoration Fund, which is important to restore that beautiful historic cemetery. So we're excited about that. And then also at 4 p.m. we will kick off character meet and greets. We have partnered with Haywood High School Drama Department and we have over 20 plus characters that will be on the downtown court square to meet and greet with kids. We've got uh, some of your favorite Disney characters, evil villains, and uh, Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, and the Sanderson sisters. So we're really excited to bring that and partner with them. And same thing with them. We're excited to donate a portion of those proceeds to the high school drama department to benefit their spring production of Cinderella. So we're excited that we've had great community partners, and this event should be a great success after they've had all the fun that they want to have with characters and hay rides, we are going to light a giant jack-o'-lantern on the courthouse lawn uh, just a little bit before 7 p.m. and then we will make our way after that to the AMP to watch a free screening of Halloween Town um, that we will have concessions that are themed Halloween for sale as well. So we're really excited about to bring this event to town. So Halloween Town is a Disney movie, came out uh, in the early 2000s. It is about a family that conquers evil and, and good in the spirit of Halloween. And in Halloween Town itself, there is a taxi cab that's driven by a skeleton named Benny. There is a giant jack-o'-lantern that the town um, comes together around and, and it's about community and so we're excited to kind of bring that community aspect with the Halloween aspect. <laughs> the next weekend, October 7th and 8th, we'll have the first annual Hogwild and Haywood barbecue competition and event. We will have barbecue teams from around the Mid-South and even some further than that. We had a team register from Miami, Florida, so we're excited to host these barbecue teams, they take this very seriously. It's it's down to business, but there's also prize money on the line, so they, they want to win that money. Um, we have a full competition, which means you have whole hog, pulled pork, and ribs, all that they can enter. Then there's also stuff called ancillaries. They can enter sauce, chicken, beef. Um, they want to see if theirs is the best, so they compete in those categories as well. While the barbecue competitors are cooking and competing, we will also have live music on the Budweiser stage. We have two bands Friday night. We have three bands Saturday. We will also have on Saturday, we'll have a cobbler competition. We have so many good cooks in Haywood County that I'm very excited to see what those come out to be like. 
Um, and then we'll also have, after the cobbler competition, we will have a mullet competition. So what goes better than barbecue than mullets? Um, and it's making a comeback. So why not celebrate that? Um, and then Friday night, we're super excited to have a cornhole competition. So we have partnered with um, an area cornhole league that is also a part of the pro national tour of cornhole. So they are helping us with registration and uh, scoring of that event. And we've also have a great partner with Camping World. They will be giving away, um, along with the prize money for the cornhole competition, they're gonna be giving away a mini bike, which is like a dirt bike and other prizes. So we're excited about that. We've got a wide variety of music. We've got um, a good cover band that does a little bit of everything from 80s to current. We've got a, an 80s metal band. They're real big into Guns N' Roses and things like that, which is great. We've got a country um, bluegrass kind of band. They've got a harmonica player. And um, we also have a current country band they play covers for current country songs and then we also have a um, band that does just a little bit of everything from metal to country to pop to so we tried to make sure that we had music that would appeal a little bit to everybody so we have music for all generations and, and everybody's liking the entry fee for hog wild and haywood is five dollars per person children 12 and under are free um, and those ticket fees go to Main Street to help us to continue to put on great community events like this. As a nonprofit, we struggle sometimes, so this is a good way to help the community bring a great event and also help us with future events. Um, we have a rock star board right now that I'm so proud of and so thankful for. It could not happen without them whatsoever. So if you see people with their Main Street t-shirts on that day, make sure to say thank you to them because it wouldn't be happening without them. Um, and our sponsors, we've got a full list of sponsors on our website as well as that will be on the um, event shirts and the uh, event banners. So make sure you thank our community sponsors. Could not happen without them. So we would love to invite everybody out to both of our events in October. October 1st, Halloween in Haywood on the downtown square from 3 to 9 p.m. You can find more information on our Facebook page or our website. And then the very next weekend, we have Hog Wild in Haywood, barbecue competition, festival, live music, free kids zone, good food, good shopping, and a good family fun time. So we hope to see everybody at both of these events. Well, Sonia, what do you think? <laughs> I'm so excited about all the fun things that are going to be happening this fall on our court square. I know. I mean, hay rides, all kinds of stuff. Headless horsemen. Giant pumpkins. Characters. And then barbecue. And more. And more. And more. Yeah, it's going to be a great start to fall off You think? Um, I do. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All right, and until then. Until then. Bye, y'all.